winter season is a great time to be looking through our garden catalogs as they come in into the early winter months. And some of the terms that are used in garden catalogs can be somewhat confusing to new gardeners or somebody who, who happens to get a new garden catalog. And we'll try to explain some of those in our segment today. Two of the characteristics that you might find listed in your catalog are heirloom seeds or hybrid seeds. Heirloom seeds are ones that we tend to think of as seeds that have been used by gardeners for generations or back into the history of time, but they are technically considered seeds that are not used in production agriculture. And hybrid seeds are seeds that are a cross between different varieties of seeds in order to get specific characteristics out of the next generation of seed. But the first generation or F1 hybrids tend to be sterile seeds and so if you're planting an F1 hybrid you won't be able to collect the seed from that and expect to be able to plant it because it will probably be a sterile seed. You may find organic and inorganic seed listed and all of those have different characteristics to them based on the National Organic Program. And that is a program where seeds or other things are certified as produced under organic conditions, where only organic fertilizers and pest control measures are used. Non-organic certified seeds could potentially be produced under those conditions. They're just not certified under the program. So organic seeds in a catalog that comes from the United States and sold in the United States would indicate that that seed is produced under certified organic production methods. Inorganic seeds may or may not have commercially produced fertilizers or pest control measures used on the crop when those seeds were grown and in their production. So there may be chemicals in those and it may be important to you in your home garden use. One of the methods of treating seeds that can be organic or inorganic is pelletized or treated seed that has a fungicide coating on it that would prevent fungal organisms from attacking that germinating seed in the soil. And that fungicide is typically a non-organic or an inorganic treatment, so you might check for treated seeds. But if organic production is important to you, you may want to ensure that you get soil-borne pathogen treated seeds for the garden, but that are treated in an organic way. If you have had soil borne pathogens in the soil where you garden, you may need to use treated seeds so that you can prevent the soil borne pathogens from attacking the young seedlings in the soil. But you can look for organic or inorganic treated seeds depending upon what soil borne pathogen you might have. Enjoy the time this winter where you have the garden catalogs to go through and planning time for your coming garden season. With the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman from the ground up.